Hello everyone, on the screen you see BirdLife data file. This data file contains information on 10 countries in 2010. The first column is country name, the second one is life expectancy in years, the third one is birth rate in percent, the fourth one is GNI per capita, and the fifth one is level of development. We are going to use R to construct a scatter plot of birth rate against life expectancy that also incorporates the development variable. And then we summarize the results. First, we are going to choose our directory, working directory. Next, we are going to import the birth life data into a data frame and label it my data. My data is equal to read.csv in quotation mark, the file name is birdlife. That's CSV and control enter. To create a scatter plot that incorporates the development variable, we use the plot function. In this function, we use the options main to add a title, call to define colors for the segments of the columns, xlab and ylab to provide labels for the x-axis and y-axis, pch to define the shape of the marker, and call to define the color of the marker. The shapes and colors of the markers are based on the categories of the development variable. So let's type the function plot my data dollar sign bird dot rate concatenate my data dollar sign life dot expectancy then main is equal to in quotation marks scatter plot of birth rate against life expectancy. Next, xlab is equal to life expectancy in years and then ylab is equal to in quotation mark birth rate in percentage and next pch is equal to 16 next call function it's a conditional function if else my data development is equal to developing then the color is 20 otherwise 26 and now our function is ready. Control enter. Under plots pane, you can see the scatter plot of birth rate against life expectancy. And we are going to add a legend on the right side of the scatter plot using the legend function. So we are going to here enter legend and in the parentheses write comma legend is equal to in vector developing and developed. And next, PCH is 16 for data markers. And then color is going to be 20 and 26. And then control enter. So as you see on the right side, we have developing and developed. And the colors are assigned accordingly. So based on this figure, we see a negative linear relationship between birth rate and life expectancy. Countries with lower birth rates tend to have higher life expectancies. This relationship holds true for both developing and developed countries. We also see that in general, developed countries have lower birth rates and higher life expectancies as compared to developing countries. Next, we are going to use this data set to construct a bubble plot of the birth rate against life expectancy that uses the GNI variable for the size of the bubbles. And then we summarize our results. So we first create an empty plot by using the plot function. Plot, open parentheses, my data, dollar sign, birth rate, concatenate, my data, life expectancy. And then we choose here, type is equal to n means no plotting and then control enter we then use the symbols function to plot the bubbles representing the observations we use the options circles inches and bg to specify the red eye sizes and color of the bubbles the bubbles are sized based on the values of the gni of the countries we also use the options main xlab and ylab so we are going to enter here symbol function symbols my data dollar sign birth rate 
and concatenate my data dollar sign life expectancy and then comma circles for red eye so we are going to choose circles my data dollar sign gni inches represent the sizes so we want the size of bubbles to be 0.5 inches and bg represents the color of the bubbles bg is equal to blue and next we add a title therefore we use main function main is equal to in quotation marks a bubble plot of birth rate life expectancy and gni a bubble plot of birth rate life expectancy and gni and then x lab is equal to life expectancy in years and then y lab is equal to birth rate in percentage and then control enter so based on this bubble chart we see that a country's birth rate and its average life expectancy display a negative linear relationship we also see that countries with low birth rates and high life expectancies have higher gni per capita which is indicative of developed countries so this is how we construct a bubble chart and a scatter plot with additional categorical variable thank you very much for watching the video